But rather seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutation to the hopeful that got there pushing his word and truth and this sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Pushing to get up out of here, shower warm to the whole elect, the believers, the listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you. How about you, Mount Shai? All right, and what I want to get into today, all right, this morning, you know, dealing with another, <laughs> the West is a mess. All right, and this will be episode three. Okay, I want to start off with second Ezra 15 and 5, and it says, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death. And destruction, okay. And as people, you know, especially our people, you know, you know, you Jakes, you Israelites, okay, live, you know, with no awareness of what's going on. This is what's being prepped in the earth, okay. This this is being prepped in the earth, man. The, the chaos, because the the lack of food is going to bring the sword, okay. It's going to bring death. People are going to starve to death and people are going to be, you know, die through violence, man. Okay. And the destruction ultimately is the missiles, man. That's going to lay America flat. All right. And various places in the earth, you know, will be struck, you know, by nuclear missiles because this is a nuclear war. Third world, uh, the third world's war is a nuclear war. Okay. And all these things are being prepared. Okay. And it goes into why? Verse 6. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay? Because there, there's a limit to how far Yahweh by Shema Oshai is going to allow wickedness, okay, to go. Okay? There's a set measure of wickedness, all right, before the destruction really, really settles in, man. Okay, and starts wiping and negating the wickedness from the earth. Okay, I had a brother out of North Carolina, uh, uh, Elder Amawad. Okay, Yahweh about Shema is about to delete, okay, wickedness out the earth, man. Okay, verse verse seven said, therefore said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things. In which they wickedly exercise themselves. Okay. And he's not holding his tongue. Through the prophets man. That's why he has put the spirit. On, on, on the prophets. To call these things out publicly man. Okay. Go into the gates of the noble. Scripture say let's get that. Let me get back to it. Go back to Isaiah. Thirteen, you know, this is how Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is holding his tongue no more. This is Isaiah thirteen to one said, "The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amos did see, lift ye up a banner, okay, upon the high mountain." And the banner is just words, this Bible, okay, this standard is being lifted, okay, because America is considered wicked, wicked. Okay, this society, this whole B system is considered wicked based on what? The standard of the Bible. And that's the banner that's being lifted up on this high mountain. Okay? And this high mountain is mainly America. All right? And this whole westernized, you know, government, man, but the chief place being America. It said, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. Okay? And this is the internet, all right? The chief place of traffic on earth is through the internet, 
okay this is the gates of the, of the elites okay because this is where they cast their enchantments but guess what how about Shema Shah put the spirit on the prophet to pretty much invade, all right, <laughs> the gates of the nobles on the well, man, okay, and push your house shot, all right? Let's get one more to prove that, you know, the mouthpiece of Yahweh about Shema Shah is the prophets. So when you go to um, Hosea, okay, chapter 12, verse 10, and it says, I have also spoken by the prophets and I have multiplied visions and used similitude by the ministry of the prophets okay so when you go back to 2nd Ezra 15 and 7 all right and 8 you know 2nd Ezra 15 and 8 said I will hold my tongue no more touching their wickedness which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. All right? And the things that we're seeing happening, it's going to come a time. How about Shema Shad? And we're like, enough is enough, man. Okay? He's not going to let these people continue to wax worse and worse in the earth, man. Okay? Wickedness is going to hit a wall. <laughs> okay? And it says in the which they wickedly exercise themselves behold the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me and the souls of the just complain continually you know and there's a continual complaint being made about this place man okay there's a continual complaint being made about all right this society man from the the upright man okay from the hopeful elect just as in the days of Sodom, there was a crowd against it, man. When you go to um Genesis 14, um, this is Genesis 18, okay. This is Genesis 18 and 20. It says, And the Lord Yahweh Bashim al Shah said, Because the cry of Solomon and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, I will go down now and see whether they have done altogether according to the cry of it, which is come unto me, and if not, I will know. So before Solomon and Gomorrah was completely destroyed through fire, okay, Yahweh Bashim al Shah. All right, pretty much did the Inquisition, you know, sent the angels down to see if the cry was as bad, you know, as it was. And when you go to the NLT, let me see. This is the NLT, Genesis 18:21. It says, I am going down. To see if their actions are as wicked as I have heard. If not, I want to know. Okay. <laughs> so just as you know, back in Sodom and Gomorrah, he sent down angels, all right, to scope the place out. Well, all these chariot sightings is Yahabashima Al Shai responding to the cry against okay, this modern Sodom and Gomorrah, man. <laughs> which is America, man. Okay. You keep reading. All right, this is an ASV. It says, I will go down now and see the whether they have done all together according to the cry of it, which has come unto me. Okay. Because these complaints that the hopeful elect is making is, is, is reaching the heavens, man. Okay. And if not, I will know. So now America's in the same position of ancient, all right, Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. That's why it, it links America destruction. Okay. Ancient, uh, I mean, the new Babylon, the daughter of Babylon, mystery Babylon, America. It links it to the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah because it's in the same position. Now, <laughs> I got a few articles I want to get. Okay, and this place is through. Now, not gonna read too much, you know, either one. 
pretty much just deal with the headline. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you got Fauci himself, you know, test positive. <laughs> okay, for the for the C19 through. This is supposed to be your, your, your the nation's top medical advisor. Okay. Come on, man. <laughs> so let's go from there. <laughs> This man. Hmm. You know, it just get worse and worse. Okay, you got this guy, Little Nas X. Okay, and it's just getting worse and worse, man. We know he's on the front line of abomination, you know, that's being pushed. Okay. Getting worse, man. The West is a goddamn mess, man. Okay. And this is why we got to get the hell out of here, man. Look at this nigga, man. You know, it's not even worth reading that, man. Just, just look at this nigga. Get to the point where... <laughs> You know, you gotta read, just, just look at these people, man. And you see why. Okay? Hmm. You got this. America just has no standard on, on, on any level. You know, you're just supposed to accept everything. Now look at this. Super size saloon. Follow saloon created by by and four plus size women, man. <laughs> Look at this, man. Through. Okay, how unhealthy is it? But this is a sign of death. Okay. But well, these things are pushed. Let me see. Let me play this, man. All sizes are beautiful. I got hips, I got ass. I love this voluptuous body. I'm fat, you like that. Baby Doll Beauty Couture is the first ever all-inclusive salon by plus size girls for plus size girls. Can't nobody tell them they ain't fine at five, 400, 600, and 700 pounds. Big girls don't like sitting low. All this is for all of this. <laughs> At baby doll. Luxury in hand is always a happy moment. <laughs> a sad moment, uplifting moment, or some bull. They get drunk, they be twerking, screaming across the salon. Why are we even talking about Tyler Green Z? Maybe that's the Vegas way. I be feeling so good after I do here. I don't know what that's about. Oh my god. It says you put your love and energy into it so you receive it back. Yes. She is fine. She hasn't walked around the salon. She's legit fighting for her life. Do you guys not take me seriously as a boss because of my mobility issues? I closed my business down to be here. The energy in here is up, Jamie, and I need you to fix it. We might disagree. Be about it. I'm about be it. Be about it. But we're all a family here. The all-new series, Super Size Salon, premieres Friday, July 29th on WeTV. Stream every moment, Tuesdays on All Black. Use code WeTV for 30 days free. Through, I thought you knew. You know, and this big motherfucker can't even get around. Okay. This is, this is America, man. <laughs> This is America, man, where they, where they record your, your death. <laughs> you know, they record your infirmities, man. Okay, make it popular, man. Okay. Um, let's see the other thing. And they're constantly linking 
You jakes. To all manner of wickedness, man. Now, this article said, Bishop says school flying BLM, all right, and the alphabet flags can no longer call itself Catholic. And you see what they're constantly linking your, you jakes to, man. Okay? So, you jakes, all you BLM supporter jakes, this is what you're linked to, man. Okay? It says a Massachusetts bishop this week has declared that a um, Worcester school or Worcester middle school may no longer identify as Catholic after he refused to take down the Black Lives Matter and alphabet all right, pride flags that have flown in front of the building for over a year. Bishop Robert J. McManus has said previously that they that he disapproved of the school's decision to fly the flags, which he alleged sent messages inconsistent with Catholic beliefs. Nativity School President Thomas McKinney this week said the school would appeal the decision and will continue to fly the flags. Just like Solomon Gomorrah, they are proud. They are unmovable in their wickedness, man. Okay? Those men that want to lay with those angels that visited Lot. Okay? They didn't even want the virgin women, the virgin daughters that, that Lot had. They wanted, okay, uh, 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 the angels whom they presumed to be just men. Okay, they were unmovable in their wickedness, man. And this is why. Okay, you go into the scriptures. The, the judgment of America. Okay. It's going to be likened unto Solomon and Gomorrah. This is Jeremiah 49 and 17. says, Also, Edom shall be a desolation. Everyone that goeth by shall be astonished and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof, as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay? And the neighbor cities thereof, said the Lord, No man shall abide there, neither shall the Son of Man all right, dwell in it. Now, let's see. Does it give us something in a different translation? Okay, in the NLT, it says it will be like the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, which is through fire, man. Okay, a lot of the nukes is coming to America, man, and you can see why. It says in their neighboring town, said the Lord, no man will live there. No one will inhabit it, man. Okay. So let's go to Isaiah 13. Isaiah 13 and 17 says, Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bowls also, all right, and the Medes are speaking of the Russians, man. Okay. And you see they're stirred up and they are talking about nothing but nuclear war. And <laughs> they Putin this ever since this war in Ukraine. That's all Putin, okay, has been talking about, man, is nuclear. <laughs> all right. And said, Behold, I will stir up the means against them which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Okay. Their bowls also shall dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. Yeah, those missiles. <laughs> okay. Once they're lunch. Alright, those, those, those missiles don't have emotions. <laughs> okay. And this, they're going to destroy what's over in their path. Verse 19. In Babylon, the glory of the kingdoms and the beauty of the child deeds excellency shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. And you see why. Now let's go here. It said U.S. Republican. This is from RT. U.S. Republican slam woke Pentagon spending. It says 13 congressmen have penned a letter to the U.S. military demanding a financial breakdown of his, all right, of his P-month-related 
<coughs> expenses. It says the U.S. Department of Defense is splurging too much money on promoting, okay, Pride Month, which neglecting military preparedness, man. Okay. <laughs> A faction of Republicans. So instead of here it is going to World War Three, and this is the energy of, of the American military, man. Okay, yeah, how about Shima Shah setting America up for failure, man? Major failure. It says a faction of Republican congressmen has charged in a letter to Secretary of Defense Lord Austin. The representative says they want a full accounting of the DOD's use of taxpayer dollars spent on furthering all right, diversity of the alphabet values, man. <laughs> you know, even, even the congressman, like, God damn. You know? Then you got this. It says, how gang companies twist, all right? Pride Month values for profit. Video games uh, companies roll out a mandatory rainbow flag all right, <laughs> but only as far as it doesn't hurt their bottom line, <laughs> okay? Madness, man. New York spent big, all right, on drag shows for kids, okay? New York City Council has spent more than 200000 in taxpayer money, okay, on D-Queen shows at city schools since 2018, okay, drag story hour. It just gets worse and worse, man. Involving kids, okay, and D Queen shows it is defiance, not pride. They said the annual Pride Month has gone from normalizing relationships between consenting adults to sexualizing children. Hmm. And we, you know, <laughs> we close it out, man. But destruction is prepared for this place, man. Okay, it's heavy destruction. All right, it's, it's prepared for this place. I get that in Joel. This is Joel three and um thirteen. It says, "Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come get down. Come." It says, "Come get you down, for the press is full. The fats overflow." For their wickedness is great, man. Okay, this is <laughs> beyond wicked society, man. So, you know, Lord will you, brothers, and you few souls to edify to the next time I say shalom. Shalom, 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 shal